My name is Lucas. I'm the director of a film called Girl. Yeah, the Volgende, alsjeblieft. Mijn chance. Mijn chance. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. De klassieke techniek moet natuurlijk verder geperfectioneerd worden, maar voldoet. Dus ik denk dat het goed is dat we een uh, achttal weken proberen. The film is a portrait of a young girl, a 15 years old called Lara, that wants to become a ballerina. Meisjes, we hebben hier een half of twaalf jaar hè, op ons plaats. Ze moeten harder werken, anders is het een hopeloze situatie. And it's really a, a physical film about the relationship we all have with our bodies and how they sometimes can be very complex. Je ziet er goed uit, je straalt. Heb je nog zitten aftellen naar je hormonenbehandeling? Ja. Yeah. In 2009, uh, I was 18 at the time, I was just going to start film school and I read an article in a Belgian newspaper about a young girl who wanted to become a ballerina but was assigned male and um, I mean I think at 18 that really struck me because for me it's really an example of someone that chooses herself above the reactions of the outside world that is very clear in what she wants and that she wants to go for that. We gaan de vrouwelijke puberteit zo goed mogelijk nabootsen. Maar de effecten zijn dus wel onomkeerbaar. Het is niet compliqué. Do you want to train for a fille or for a mec? Fille. Et voilà. The casting for this role was the most challenging part. First of all, because the film is carried by its protagonists. The film literally stays, I think, 99% of the shots on her. So we needed someone a 15 years old that could dance, act and represent his identity in a complex way, which is not easy. So we did a genderless casting. We saw young girls, we saw young boys and we saw young trans girls. And the problem was that every time there was one of the capacities needed that wasn't present. So we were in despair and we went looking for the other young dancers in the film. So we organized big castings for the other young dancers to continue our production. And in one of the groups, Victor Polster entered the room, 14 at the time. An angel. Um, I mean that in a very literal sense, like someone that had like a sort of angelic quality to him. And when he started dancing, I just knew that it was the first person that I saw that was able, able to do it. A new life. It's a big moment for the family, for us three. The most difficult part was the physical aspect of the dance, because yes, he's a dancer and he's been training to become a ballet dancer, but he has never danced on point shoes. So that aspect, getting him there physically, because he's doing all the dancings in this film himself was very challenging. Je te demande comment ça va parce que tu ne dis jamais rien. Voilà pourquoi je te demande comment ça va. Il y a une raison, non Il y a une raison quoi Pourquoi tu ne dis plus jamais rien And This was my first feature film. You, you, you're like, you're excited, but at the same time you're in panic. You're like, do I, un, do I know what I'm doing? What motivates me is that I think one of the big forces of cinema is empathy and that it can create that. And I'm really interested in showing characters that bring something new to the table. Characters that challenge things, whatever they might be, but that like challenge how we think, that might, made, might make us understand things that we didn't before, or might make us feel things that we didn't before. Tout se passe bien, hein? Tout se passe bien. Thank you so much. <laughs>